Hey friends, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe so you can stay up to date with our new stuff. Okay, here we go. So her name is Sunny the Demon. She is a bubbly, funny creature who enjoys the sunny days of summer. And when there's a heat wave, she's the most active. The day I shot this video, ironically, it was freaking hot. So in my studio, it was even hotter. So that's why I sat outside filming this for you. Um, it was still really, really warm. And I must say I had major, major trouble to get everything glued down, to stay down, sweating the paint off. So I'm done with the prepping. I prepared my skin with some skin prep from Meron. I popped in my lenses and I applied a bold cap and I am gonna use a thin layer of prosade on the top of my bold cap so I won't have too much of a color difference between my bold cap and my skin when I put on the aqua paint. So a thin layer and I applied with a um, non-latex sponge and to remove the shine I will use the setting powder from Meron. Now, I have these horns lying around for quite some time now. Um, I filled uh, the big horns with some cotton, uh, cotton wool so it stays up. And I will apply them uh, with some prosade and a Q-tip, of course. So I have this set of horns lying around for a long time and um, I, I can't even remember where I got them. I think they're from Wuchi, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, <laughs> back back to where, what was I? Okay, applying the horns. <laughs> um, the edges are quite thick from this prosthetic, so... And they wouldn't stay down because of my body temperature. It's warm, you know, they started to curl up all the time. So I had my cheek piece. Okay, I'll do the rest off camera. So, peekaboo. <laughs> so, this is the end result of gluing all the horns down. And I'm sweating like... <clears throat> so I need to hydrate. It's very important to hydrate. So, okay, continue. So I made a little paste of prosade and some setting powder. And I'm trying to um, hide the edges. When I have to do this look again, which I probably will do, I think I'm going to use latex all the way. So everything is dried and I set it with um, the setting powder from Meron. Now it's time for some more water and some aqua paints from chameleon and this is the banana yellow and I'm gonna use this as a base and I will apply it if I can find my brushes I didn't prep enough so everything is stacked in a big box <laughs> but I found it so I'm loading up my brush and I applied is a beautiful yellow and it's even brighter and real so I tried to get a nice even layer of the yellow and I think in total I applied two, two layers of yellow and it still was dripping off. <laughs> so I fast forwarded it so this is pretty much a nice minion look. <laughs> I look like a minion. Oh no I'm not gonna say it. <clears throat> So now it's time for some orange juice from Chameleon and the Blood Red. And my set is moving. <laughs> it's the wind and the sun. So I use my Titanic stippling brush and I apply the, the orange and the red to the base of the horns just to break all the yellow. gradually building everything up horn by horn 
and I even do it on my scalp to break the yellow just stippling it on there and I use a detail brush for the little horns and then blend it out with another stippling brush like so setting is already loosening up on my chin again anyway I take the blood red and I just create some more depth around the horns so they you know look like they are coming out of my skin they grown out of my head then it's time for the chameleon a strong a black and a <laughs> beauty blender and a stencil I couldn't find my uh, bang um, stencil so I, I use this and I'm getting annoyed by the chin piece okay time for some stenciling so I use a little bit of black and I just dab it onto the stencil and create this nice little dot And on my fingers <laughs> on the side of my head I decided to try and hide the edges <laughs> on my cheeks and on my forehead I, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this without losing my sight okay let's Okay, it turned out nice and then my camera uh, overheated <laughs> so I had have done my eyes and my fake lashes I am applying some nice cosmetic glitters it's not it is not picking up on camera but that's okay so it's a nice a red a lipstick and to finish it off I have these beautiful little stones and you can use eyelash glue or prosade and I'm, I'm definitely going to choose prosade and I'm just going to apply them on my forehead and the inner corners of my eyes and I could not find my tweezers <laughs> so. it's so annoying when you're not organized <laughs> look at the shimmer wow. so I popped on some stones on my ears and on my chin and there we have it thank you so so much for watching and see you next time same place different look bye bye